impress someone greatly. Blow someone away. You can do something with a lot of passion if you do the anthem and energy. What are you going to say? Right. Put one heart and soul into something, lay one's heart and soul out in something. Right. So quality or characteristic very clearly, strongly. You ooze, right, with something. And make someone pay attention or vulnerable to your charm. You have someone, right? Okay. right. Bring to a whole new level, raise the bar. Okay, rewrite the role or redefine. Characterize, be a typical or perfect example of something. Right, define something. Epitome, yeah, a different one. Interaction or emotional connection between two people. Chemistry. Right, chemistry. And make it impossible to forget something. Leave, leave an indelible mark impression on something. Right, greatly moved, overwhelmed with emotion. Right, get goosebumps. Yeah. Warm up, watch a short exchange between a Chinese monk and an American police officer. Let's see what happens. Right. Identify the main reason that causes the communication breakdown. Why that one? I love Chinese people. There we go. Arrives. Wait, Chen. Chen, wait. May I help you? We'll be asking the questions, old man. Who are you? You. No, not me. You. Yes, I am you. Just answer the damn questions. Who are you? I have told you. Are you deaf? No, you is blind. I'm not blind, you blind. That is what I just said. You just said what? I did not say what. I said you. That's what I'm asking you. And you is answering. Shut up. You. Yes. Not you, him. What's your name? Me. Yes, you. I am me. He's me. And I'm you. And I'm about to whoop your old leg. <laughs> so what does he mean when he say he's me and I'm you? Right. This one they call harmony, right? So how many means words that two different words but sound exactly like each other, very much like each other, right? So sometimes you can tell which one they are talking about. It's a homonyms, right? So we have you in English and we have you in Chinese, right? You have me in English and we have me in Chinese. Sound exactly the same. So that's why he's me and I'm you. Right? It makes sense. Yeah. Here's a solution to that part one more time. May I help you? We'll be asking the questions, old man. Who are you? You. No, not me, you. Yes, I am you. Just answer the damn questions. Who are you? I have told you. Are you deaf? No, you is blind. I'm not blind, you blind. That is what I just said. You just said what? I did not say what. I said you. That's what I'm asking you. And you is answering. Shut up. You. Yes? Not you, him. What's your name? Me. Yes, you. I am me. He's me. And I'm you. <laughs> and I'm about to whoop your old ass, man, because I'm sick of playing games. You, me, everybody's ass around here. Him? I'm going to kick his ass. I'm sick of it. Okay. All right. And you know that Vietnamese name actually has the same kind of problems, right? Do you know how they pronounce that one? Uh, do, I, do I me? Do 
Do we my? So if uh, uh, Americans read this one out loud, it's gonna be Do we my? You would never heard your name in that one. Do I me? Okay. There are some symbols for that. Then we'll lead. No, lead. No. China. Let's take attendance. <laughs> bitch and guy. <laughs> we got a bitch and guy in this class. Yeah. Uh, you mean bit me? Fucking go. <laughs> Anybody fucking go today? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, my name is Phuc Ngo. Okay. Uh, so, we have the same kind of problems with that. Uh, right. We're going to watch second clip that parodies a phone conversation between President George Bush and Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice. Okay. Uh, and let's see what happened there. Good morning, Mr. President. Oh, Condoleezza, nice to see you. What's happening? Well, Mr. President, I have the report here about the new leader in China. Well, wait, Condi, lay it on me. Mr. President, who is the new... All right, so we have a problem with who, right? ...leader of China. Well, that's what I want to know. Well, that's what I'm telling you, Mr. President. Well, that's what I'm asking you, Condi. Who is the new leader of China? Yes. I mean the feller's name. Q. The guy in China. Q. The new leader of China. Q. The Chinaman. Q is leading China, Mr. President. What are you asking me for? <laughs> I'm telling you, Q is leading China. Well, I'm asking you, Condi, who is leading China? That's the man's name. That's whose name? Yes. Will you or will you not tell me the name of the new leader of China? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Arafat is in China. I thought he was in the Middle East. That's correct, sir. Then who's in China? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is in China? No, sir. Then who is? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. Connie, you're starting to piss me off now. I need to know the name of the new leader of China, so I want you to get me the Secretary General of the United Nations on the phone. You want coffee? No. You don't want coffee? No, but now you mention it, I could use a glass of milk. And then get me the UN. Yes, sir. Not yes, sir, the guy at the United Nations. Coffee. Milk. <laughs> Will you please make that call? And call who? Well, who's the guy at the UN? No, who is the guy in China? Will you stay out of China? Yes, sir. And stay out of the Middle East. Just get me the guy at the UN. Coffee. All right, with cream and two sugar. Now get on the phone. <laughs> okay, right. So we can tell that harmony sometimes can cause serious communication breakdown, right? We're going to learn more funny example about this one as last lap. Now let's move on to... Okay. <laughs> right, so we have the harmony in between that combined Vietnamese and English as well. All right. All right. And the last one. Okay, all right. Now, let's take out the reading. We're going to do self correction for this one. The Biggest Loser Home Visiting Episode Sammy announces that all of them are going home for the The Biggest Loser Home Visiting Episode Sammy announces that all of them are going home for the week Four visits. They'll be back for the next weigh-in. Everyone is excited to see their families. Sammy, ever the buzzkill. What does it mean when I say somebody is a buzzkill? And again, self-correction, it's not buzzkill, right? It's a buzzkill. 
Buskill means someone who spoils the fun for everyone else. Right? Who spoils the fun for everyone else. Right? Who stops everyone else from having fun. That's Buskill. Okay. We have several other terms for this one as well. We can say that somebody is a spoil sport. Right. Somebody a killjoy. You can guess the meaning of this one as well. Right. I'll mean the same thing. And somebody a wet blanket. Right. Wet blanket là cái chăn ướt. Chúng ta nói ai như là cái chăn ướt có nghĩa là gì? Luôn luôn làm cho người khác mất hứng. Right. So wet blanket and my favorite is gonna be party pooper. Party pooper. Đúng như tiếng Việt mình nói là ị và hội nghị. Nghe, nghe. Là cái người làm cho những người khác ra hoàn toàn bất ngờ. Party pooper. So we have several terms to mean the same thing. Basquio, wet blanket, spoil sport, kill joy, party pooper. Okay. Thì thì nói mà gặp phải giám khảo mà làm cho mình mất hứng quá thì mình sẽ nói là gì? You're such a party pooper. Yeah. Wet blanket kill joy. Give, give him a serious words to show that you know a lot. Sammy, ever the buzzkill, reminds everyone that their families will distract them and there are lots of temptations. At home, the contestants receive a big can of sugar cookies and a DVD that says, Play Now. The DVD features Sammy, who lays out the challenge. Remember layout? Yeah. The contestants are going to be running a half marathon. Th- right. Remember they pronounce that word as marathon, not, not marathon. Okay. Marathon. Yeah. Contestants are going to be running a half marathon, 13.5 miles. So is that equal to or equivalent of 21 kilometers, right? Remember, for the very first challenge, they just climbed over a sand dune, right? And now they are running 21 kilometers. Can you guys do that? No. Think about that. <laughs> so such a big leap, right? Marathon thir- they have come so far. 13.5 miles. There's something else. They will be facing a cookie temptation. For every cookie they eat, they can add five minutes to the player of their choices half marathon time. The player with the fastest time wins $10,000. All right. So again... The challenge have a very big price, ten thousand, right? I jump by me see you that, right? And but there is a twist that they're gonna have some cookies, and if you you eat one cookie, you're gonna add five minutes to somebody else time, right? So if you think that somebody is gonna gonna run faster than you, you're gonna eat cookie against that person, and then add time to that person's racket, right? Okay. That the, the twist. At the end of the video. Sammy says that she'll see them on campus, where she'll reveal who the winner is. Tara knows she's screwed with the five-minute cookie rule since she's the best runner on campus. Right, so Tara, the green one, she's the best runner on campus. So if anybody is going to eat cookie against somebody, they're going to eat cookie against her. Right, that's a problem as well. And with that, it's race day. Everyone gets ready to run in their various venues, most of which are indoor tracks. Terra and Cyan seem like they're in pretty good shape, but lots of the others are having hard physical times. In his last mile, Cyan gets a cramp right before the finish line. It's so painful that he can't even take another step. He lays on the ground and screams. This allows Tara, who was lagging behind him a bit, to gain some ground. Right. What does it mean when you gain ground on someone or against someone? 
Right. When you gain grout on or against someone, you gain advantage over that person. Chúng ta chiếm được lợi thế sau đây on against someone. Instead of gaining ground, you can also get or lose right, ground to someone. That means you lose your advantage to someone. Right. Okay. Tức là một đằng là có lợi thế, một đằng là gì đấy? Mất lợi thế. Okay. Ta đều có thể dùng cái này. Đấy, ví dụ như tôi muốn nói là đồng đô la mất giá so với đồng yên. Tôi có thể nói rất đơn giản là gì? The US dollar lost ground to Japanese yen. Okay. So, Tsune had the lead, and then he got some kind of cramp, and Tara took the chance to gain some ground on him. Right. Him a bit to gain some ground, but with Philippe's help, Philippe's help, Cyan gets up and pushes to the finish line. When the contestants get back. Sammy gathers them together to reveal the marathon results and who stole the cookies from the cookie jar. Last chance workout. Bob notes that since the blue team has been formed, they haven't won a single way in. Right, remember at the beginning we have like 11 teams with different colors, right? But now when the number is reduced to a certain amount uh, numbers, right? They was broken into two teams only, right? Black team under Jillian's guidance and the blue team under Bob's guidance. And there is no surprise that the blue team always lose in every challenge. Okay. Right. So Bob hope that this time his turn is gonna his luck to turn around. Okay. He's hoping his luck might change. Kristen tells us that this week she could be the first female contestant to lose 100 pounds while on campus. And Kristen, the purple girl, right, may make history by becoming the first woman ever to lose 100 pounds on campus. Right. Let's see if she can do that. And then comes the way in. Okay, so we're done with the reading. Now let's move on to homework first. And then we are... Okay, basket, right? So we have similar, several structures, so, uh, several similar structure: kill joints, forest board, red blanket, and party pooper, right? I'm gonna give you some sample club for those. Okay. Here's the headline: Best date of my life. Right, so she got the best date of her life. Oh, it's Great dinner, no awkward pauses, didn't have to fake any laughs. All right, you don't have to fake any laughs during the date, that's good. Oops. And he finished it off with the perfect first kiss. All right, perfect first kiss. Aww. Aww. I'm so happy for you, Bonnie. Yeah, you deserve to. Listen, I think this is great, but it's a risk of sounding like a wet blanket. All right, it's a risk of sounding like a wet blanket, so she's going to give some bad news, right? Take it slow. Take it slow. Be smart. Oh, please. If I took things slow and smart, this one wouldn't exist. Uh, if she did something like that in the past, her daughter wouldn't be exist. Right? So sometimes you should be thankful that your parent used to be not so smart. Right? Okay. Talk, uh, speaking about, what, uh, about that, right? when we move on to the time travel topic, right? The same thing happens, right? If you can try, travel back in time and correct a mistake you made in the past, right? You could, uh, you may not be exist right? at all. Mm. Bob's going out of town for the weekend? Right, Bob is Donna's dad. All right, part. So they plan a party at Donna's house. Be at Donna's! <laughs> okay, we're gonna need beer, balloons. Right, they're gonna need beer, balloons. Balloons and girls with low self esteem. Các cô gái mà lòng tự trọng thấp. Đấy, chúng ta nhớ là party là cần nhất các loại cô như thế này. Guys, hang on. But too bad that Eric, Donna's boyfriend, already have some plans for the weekend. Right? Donna and I already made plans this weekend. And they decide to live together as a real couple to see if they can survive husband and wife in the future. Right. Oh, the plumber took apart the toilet upstairs, so you'll have to use this one. I know it's scary down here at night, but... He'll be fine, let's go. 
one's parents gone. Finally. <laughs> We're alone. For the whole weekend. All right. Party time. I brought the slip and slide. Guys, we said no. All right. We already said no party. All right. We're going to stay together alone. No party. Okay, dinner. So she cooked dinners for him. Like the real husband. The real couple, right? Dinner is all ready. I just have to add the secret ingredient. Love. <laughs> By the way, love is salt. <laughs> all right. Chicken pinciati. The name of that one is Chicken Pinciari. For two. <laughs> so nice, right? That's delicious. Again, so correction, you made problem, uh, made mistake with this one before. We are gonna try the first one. Yeah, các bạn đừng đọc là delicious nhé. Này rất nhiều bạn đọc từ này là delicious. Delicious. Yeah, that's, that's delicious. <cười> That's delicious. Ít nhất là những cái từ rất quen thuộc thì ta đọc cho nó đúng. Ok. Đấy. Whoa. What's wrong? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, I think the chicken pinciani wants to fly the coop. <cười> là gà chứ gì đâu muốn rời khỏi chuồng này. Oh, I'm gonna uh, be upstairs for a little. So we're gonna use the toilet upstairs. Remember what the dad say about the toilet upstairs? It's broken, right? A little bit. Uh, do you have any magazine? Alright, okay. And again, in American culture, every time you go to the toilet, you need something to read. Sometimes you have nothing to read, just read the shampoo label. <laughs> or reading, or something like that. So they usually put a magazine in the toilet. Right? So if you have American friends stay over, you should put a magazine. Of course, uh, an English magazine, right? Like Playboy or something, right? In that one. Things that I could. Whoa! Okay. I, 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 I'll just read the shampoo. Alright. Uh, it's just gonna read the shampoo label. Oh, wait, you can't. You can't use the bathroom upstairs. Alright, but you can use that one. It's broken. Sarah, so you have to use the one off the den. Right in there. So we have to use the one right there. <laughs> while well, well, you're right in here. I, I, I can't do that. You might sense something. he can go to a toilet next to somebody he knows, right? A lot of people have that kind of phobia as well. I might sense something? How much of a ruckus are you going to make? Uh, ruckus means noises, right? How much noise are you going to make? What's that one? <laughs> I just... I can't go here, okay? And I can't go home because Red thinks I'm over at Fez. Uh, he is lying to his parents so he can go home to, to poop, right? Uh, basically. I'm a man without a country. <laughs> So he rushed over to his friend's house, somebody who he already turned down for the party, right, offer. Just why I need to use your bathroom. No, there's nobody here. <laughs> of course, I can't see people who don't have parties for their friends, so maybe there is somebody here, and I just can't see him. I can't see you, Eric! <laughs> I really need to use the bathroom. Well, maybe you should have thought of that before you came to of Dana's house, you party pooper. Alright, you party... Pooper. <laughs> yeah. No party, no pooper. <laughs> okay, so remember that no party, no pooper. Okay. And when you gain growl on against someone, against someone, and you lose or give growl to someone, you talk about advantage or disadvantage. Uh, here's a glass verdict for group one, Fred of the boat, right? Some people didn't even catch the name of the show, right? Because you don't talk about that much anyway. So clear diction, you got seven. Organization, six. Good yield, learn idiom, eight. Right? Effective yield, multimedia, six. Preparation and teamwork efforts, seven. Entertainment and humor factor, six. Audience interaction, six, right? So good news. Good focus on learn idiom, good snack, good group efforts. And we already talk about snack. Yeah. <laughs> but we have more problem than good news. Uh, need slide for info summary. Đấy, các bạn khi trình bày cố gắng làm sao? Chúng ta ít nhất phải có một vài cái slide. Chủ yếu là tổng kết cái thông tin ta nói để các bạn dễ theo dõi. Đấy, cái này khá là quan trọng trong một cái presentation. Uh, clip choppy and not funny enough. Đấy, chúng ta có quá nhiều clip và làm sao cứ dừng chốc để chạy, lúc để chạy. Nó rất là mất thời gian, đúng không? 
và đấy vì chúng ta có quá nhiều clip ấy tất nhiên thể hiện một điều là các bạn chuẩn bị rất kỹ that's a good thing but you have only 30 minutes to present so you need to be selective about that thế là đó là tại sao chúng ta nên làm sao nên chọn lựa chứ không nên làm sao cố gắng là tham quá okay. đấy too long introduction đây là một sai lầm khác của các bạn đấy cái đầu tiên chúng ta nói rất nhiều thứ linh tinh mà tôi cần là cần biết là cái gì cái show đúng không đấy nó hay ở chỗ nào đấy chứ là các bạn nên nhớ một điều văn hóa mỹ là gì đấy jump right there into the topic đúng không cái đầu tiên các bạn nên mà rộng chiếu một cái gì nó thật là hấp dẫn và cho người ta thấy cái ô oh, cái show này hay thế nhỉ bắt đầu chú ý người ta có chú ý thì mình bắt đầu nói cái gì người ta mới để ý đúng không đấy thế cái, cái cái introduction của bạn nó vừa long mà nó vừa không đủ hấp dẫn thế là người ta nhìn lúc người ta bắt đầu get bored đúng không đấy và các bạn you are losing your audience đấy là một cái điều rất là Đấy, tất cả những cái, những cái trick này các bạn nên nhớ vì không phải chỉ đơn giản là chúng ta trình bày trong lớp sau này khi chúng ta present về bất kỳ một cái gì đều phải nhớ những cái này đúng không phải gây được cái sự hấp dẫn cái sự chú ý của khán giả ngay từ đầu tiên cái này rất là quan trọng đấy. các bạn nhớ đây, giống cái cách mà tôi làm cái buổi đầu cái buổi mà gì đấy à, buổi khai giảng này bao giờ là cái cách mà để làm sao cho đảm bảo là gì đấy sau cái buổi buổi đấy không ai nhường chỗ đấy. Đấy, đấy là mục tiêu đề ra là phải như vậy đấy. tất nhiên vẫn có người nhường chỗ đúng không đấy bởi vì thứ nhất là nó có thể nó khó quá đúng không? Đấy. Thế nhưng mà đấy các bạn phải nhớ cho tôi điều đó Đấy, đừng bao giờ để losing the audience ngay từ đầu thì điều đó là rất là mất thời gian để get them back ngay okay. đấy no idiom highlighting thì chúng ta nhớ là chúng ta nên highlight những cái idiom đấy cái nhóm đầu tiên là cái nhóm mà hơi bị bất hơi hơi có một cái bất tiện à một cái um, bất lợi đúng không đấy là các bạn không được uh, feedback kiểu như thế này đúng không thế nhưng mà những nhóm sau chúng ta rút kinh nghiệm ngay okay. The timing issue because of the clip and everything. A reading from script. Đấy, vẫn có một bạn là do chúng ta đọc từ script. Đấy, khi mà chúng ta present thì chúng ta làm như thế, gây cho người ta ấn tượng, chúng ta chuẩn bị không kỹ, đúng không? Mà ai cần nghe bạn reading đâu, đúng không? Thì reading thà tôi ngồi nghe, tôi nghe người bản xứ người ta nói, đúng không? Đấy, chúng ta present tức là give your own opinion about something uh, in a natural way, not from reading way. Ok. Đấy. Thì overall score các bạn là 6.5 nhưng mặc dù những nhược điểm này, nhưng tôi vẫn nghĩ là các bạn chấm điểm hơi đắt. Ok. Đấy, thường bao giờ điểm của tôi cũng rẻ hơn so với làm sao ừ. của lớp okay. Đấy. Thế clear diction for me is gonna be 7 Organization gonna be 7 Good learn idiom gonna be 9 Đấy. Tôi biết là một số cái trường hợp các bạn dùng idiom nó hơi bị khiêm cước Nhưng mà đấy, trong thời gian chúng ta tập luyện cố gắng ép càng, càng, càng ép vào nhiều càng tốt đúng không? Đấy, đến lúc mà sau này chúng ta sử dụng ra bớt đi là vừa okay. đấy, thì Có thể các bạn dùng không được đúng lắm Nhưng mà tôi vẫn appreciate cái chuyện là các bạn sử dụng idiom rất nhiều Đấy, cái thứ hai nữa là các cái clip các bạn cố gắng để chọn những idiom chúng ta đã học trong lớp that's another thing đấy cho là các bạn khi mà các bạn tạo một cái clip uh, một cái idiom summary giống như ở trong lớp chúng ta cố gắng chọn những idiom nào mà các bạn trong lớp đã biết đấy, nó sẽ dễ relate hơn đấy, với những cái nhóm sau ta chú ý ok effective use multimedia because that problem with the, a lot of videos so it's gonna be seven uh, and preparation I'm gonna have to give you seven too because of the reading thing ok Entertainment and humor factor, right? Seven. Audience interaction, seven. So for me, it's going to be seven point three. Okay, right. Vậy chúng ta điểm của tôi và điểm của lớp lệch nhau khá là nhiều. Okay. Nhưng mà đấy hy vọng là trong tương lai các bạn tự điều chỉnh đúng không? Người ta biết là chấm như thế nào là vừa. Nhưng mà nếu các bạn chấm khó, tôi không có vấn đề gì cả. Nhưng mà chấm khó thì khó chung cho tất cả các đội. Okay. Đấy, các bạn thường chỉ cho ba bốn ví dụ như vậy. Okay. Nhưng mà đội nào các bạn chỉ chéo ba bốn. <cười> lên từ năm sáu đó cùng okay. that's fine okay. so group two remember your session gonna be 17 đấy và tôi cần các bạn gửi cho tôi video clip cái bộ cái set mà chúng ta sẽ sử dụng làm sao ít nhất trước hai ngày để make sure là đến lúc đấy các bạn đã có cái để mà trình bày rồi chứ không phải là last minute ok đấy thế còn group 3 chúng ta đã gửi cho tôi pp online và tôi đã phản hồi cho các bạn rồi đấy đúng không đấy cái show các bạn trình bày là một show rất hay và rất hấp dẫn đúng không ạ đừng cách đừng có rông dài quá làm sao đấy cái khó là gì đấy làm sao trong vòng 30 phút thôi mà người ta vẫn nắm được cốt truyện các bạn cần phải trình bày đúng không mà vẫn thấy nó hấp dẫn đấy và các cái giá trị của nó đấy, chúng ta sẽ phải suy nghĩ đầu tư rất nhiều ở cái này đấy, chứ không phải là chúng ta cứ bỏ thời gian ra làm rất nhiều rồi, là được đâu đúng không cái kho lại sao cho nó vừa là một chuyện rất là quan trọng ok now we're gonna move on to the homework first and guys you're gonna submit homework and idiom summary solution Tôi sẽ điểm danh, sau đó điểm danh xong thì các bạn bắt đầu chuyển Đấy, các em chuyển 6 tờ xuống Mỗi cái đầu bàn chuyển 6 tờ xuống một tôi cả Xem có bao nhiêu nhóm nhỉ? 
À, hôm nay chúng ta sẽ có 16 nhóm, 17 nhóm đúng không? Hàng cuối cùng chia đôi thôi. Ok. Và một lần tôi nhắc này, những bạn nào mà đã đặt uh, deposit cho lớp uh, tập dịch 1, lớp tập dịch sáng của tháng 1 năm 2017 ấy, thì tôi đã quyết định là cancel lớp sáng. Cho nên là các bạn có thể chuyển sang uh, lớp tối, đúng không? Hoặc lớp chiều, hoặc là lấy lại uh, deposit của mình. Ok. Đấy. Nếu muốn chuyển thì bạn nên chuyển càng sớm càng tốt ấy, bởi vì là khi mà cancel lớp sáng rồi ấy, thì cái áp lực nó sẽ lập tức dồn trở lại với hai lớp kia Đấy, cho nên là chúng ta chú ý Tháng 11 chúng ta vẫn bình thường nhé Đấy, Tháng 11 chúng ta không có cancel nhé, không phải lo okay. Dương Huyền Mi Ok Nguyễn Vinh An Đông Phương Anh okay. Lê Ngọc Anh okay. Lê Phương Anh Lê Phương Anh Nguyễn Phương Anh okay. Võ Lan Anh okay. Vũ Lê Ngọc Anh Vũ Lê Ngọc Anh À, bạn đi xin nghỉ Bùi Thị Khánh Bình Bùi Khánh Bình Gì à Phạm Quỳnh Chi okay. Ngô Thị Kim Trung okay. Ngô Tiến Cường Nguyễn Thành Đạt okay. Lê Văn Dũng okay. Nguyễn Ngọc Dung okay. Nguyễn Thị Phương Dung okay. Lê Thủy Dương okay. Nguyễn Lê Thủy Dương okay. Nguyễn Thủy Dương Nguyễn Thủy Dương Phạm Trà Giang Phạm Trà Giang Trần Thu Giang Đỗ Hằng Hà Đỗ Hằng Hà Lê Thị Thu Hà Nguyễn Thu Hà Nguyễn Thúy Hạnh Phạm Thu Hiền Trương Thị Hồng Lê Quỳnh Hương Đinh Thu Huyền Lương Ngọc Huyền Nguyễn Thị Huyền Nguyễn Thị Huyền Phạm Ngọc Huyền Vũ Thanh Huyền Lê Phương Khanh Lê Phương Khanh Nguyễn Thị Khánh Linh Phạm Thùy Linh Trần Thị Linh Trần Thùy Linh Trần Thùy Linh Trịnh Thùy Linh Tưởng Diệu Linh Hoàng Hà Lan Hoàng Lan Sorry Nguyễn Thị Loan Đào Hiền Mai Ngô Thị Mai okay. Phạm Hồng Minh Phùng Ngọc Minh Đặng Thị Diệp Mỹ okay. Lê Trà Mi Lê Trà Mi Trà Mi nghỉ à? Ô Thị Lina Bạn này xin nghỉ này. Cao Huy Nam Trần Hoàng Nam Trần Hoàng Nam 
Phan Thị Ngọc, An Dương Nguyên, Hoàng Việt Nguyên, Đặng Yến Nhi, Đỗ Thị Kim Oanh, Nguyễn Thị Oanh xin chuyển lớp này. Lưu. Nguyễn Văn Phong. Ngô Anh Phương Ngô Anh Phương Nguyễn Hà Phương Nguyễn Lan Phương Nguyễn Hoa Phượng Nguyễn Thị Phượng Nguyễn Thị Phượng Nguyễn Hà Quyên Nguyễn Hà Quyên Nguyễn Dạ Hương Quỳnh Nguyễn Thị Hương Quỳnh okay. Nguyễn Thanh Tâm Tống Quang Thành Nguyễn Phương Thảo Nguyễn Phương Thảo B Cả hai Nguyễn Phương Thảo đều bắn à? Nguyễn Thu Thảo okay. Lê Thị Ngọc Thu Phạm Thị Hồng Thu Nguyễn Thu Thủy okay. Nguyễn Văn Trang Vũ Thị Trang, Nguyễn Thanh Tố, Tú là nào Trịnh Minh Tố, Nguyễn Thanh Vân. Chỗ có nhiều hay sao em có phải ngồi đây? Ngay đằng sau đó được em kìa. Tống Văn Vạ, okay. Đào Hải Yến, Đào Hải Yến, Lê Hữu Bình, Nguyễn Thị Vân Anh. Thiều Huyền Mi okay. Đặng Quỳnh Nga Đặng Quỳnh Nga Tăng Thị Vân okay. Em tìm cái gì? Bài vừa nay bạn nào cầm tập bài của lớp đây các bạn chuyển bài đi Quái là chúng ta thiếu hai người Bình thường chỉ có thừa thôi, không thiếu hai người Thế <cười> lại xem lớp mình là chính xác là bao nhiêu Bài À tôi loại em ra khỏi danh sách rồi vì tôi không uh, lâu lắm em không đi học Ok để tôi ép em lại Bây giờ em đi học đủ cái gì đúng không? <cười> <cười> Chúng ta là con sáu Em tên là gì? Ờ, em cũng là diện y như thế thôi Thảo nào mà thừa ra hai người một quái Bùi Thu Trang Rồi, thế chúng ta đã đúng rồi Quên mất tôi không hỏi là Các bạn nào có tên ở đây có mặt đây mà không có tên năm mươi sáu
nào các bạn uh, xong chưa mọi uh, các nhóm nào chưa nhóm có có nhà chưa nhận được bài của nhóm khác không à xin lỗi nhóm số 1 đâu nhỉ tôi trả lại cho các bạn uh, feedback của lớp okay. anyone ok em chuyển đến tận cuối cùng của tôi cả <cười> now let's get started with the first one một lần nữa là cái phần đầu tiên ta sẽ đi rất nhanh do chúng ta đã nghe nhờ rồi you have definitely learned in the last 10 weeks is to expect the unexpected Right, it's to what? Expect the unexpected. So when you say expect the unexpected, what does it mean? Right. Expect the unexpected means anything might happen, right? You have to get ready for whatever is going to happen in the future. So correct again, so question number one is what? Number two. Right. Okay. Câu này quá dễ đâu. All of you are going home for the week. Alright, so all of you are going to go home for the week. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> they thought they had to go home. Right, that's it. Yeah. They don't even may may not even hear the words for the week. For good. For good. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> what do you mean you're going home? What do you mean you're going home? And you will be back for the next wedding. Right, you will be back for the next wedding. So it's kind of family to visit. <laughs> oh man. I'm excited, man. I haven't seen my family for about 10 weeks now. I, I haven't seen my family for about 10 weeks now. <laughs> This has been a night of ups and downs. Right? This has been a night of ups and downs. Right? Okay. So when you say some things of ups and downs, what does it mean? Are you when you say an experience is up and down, that means it had some good part, it had some bad parts, right? It had some happy moments, it had some sad moments as well. It's a mixed experience, okay? Up and down. Này, tức là buồn vui lẫn lộn, may rủi lẫn lộn, đúng không? Này, we talk about the ups and downs of life, for example. Này. When you talk about ups and downs of life, right, you talk about success and failure. Hay giống như mình hay nói lên voi, xuống chó, đúng không? Này, những cái giờ khác như thế. Okay. A similar structure for this one is gonna be um, up and down, uh, up and up, on the up and up. Okay, a related structure for this one. On the up and up mean. There is no failure, right? You continue to be successful. Đấy. Thế những người dẫn up thì up là những người đang trên đà gì đấy, đi lên đấy, đúng không? Đang trên đà phát triển, không có chuyện là đi giảm, đi xuống. Okay. Đấy. On the up and up. This has been a night of ups and downs. So correct answer to question number two is going to be three, right? I have not seen my husband. My dog, my friend, in in so long. Right. So she lists her husband first, and then her dog, and then her friend. Right. So friends came before after her dogs. Right. Husband is still lucky. Right. Got on top. But one thing that that means they love their dogs very much. Okay. Like it's unbelievable. Be aware. What's that? Be aware. Be aware. Like kind of the caveat. Right. The warning. But as excited as you are to see your family and your friends. As exciting as you are to see your family and friends. They are also a distraction. Right? They are also distraction. There are also a million temptations out there in the real world waiting for you. There are also a million of temptations out there in the real world waiting for you. So does that mean what option? One, but this one is not mentioned by a contestant, so it's actually the correct answer, right? This one's by the host. 
it's going to be challenging. We're going back to an environment. Right, it's going to be challenging. We are going back to the environment. That got us this way. That what? Got it this way. Right. Uh, what he means that we go back to the environment that turn us into fat people like this. Right? Tức là chúng tôi lại quay trở lại cái môi trường mà làm cho chúng tôi ra cái nông nỗi này. Got it this way. Back to an environment that got us this way. I have not been home yet. I have no idea. I, I, I have not been home yet. I have no idea. What to expect. What to expect. No idea what obstacles and challenges. I I have no idea what. I have no idea what obstacles. Right. See how she wrote now that words as well. Hey, chờ các bạn đọc là obstacle là sai nhé. Obstacle. Right. Okay. Thế thì uh, obstacle that means some things gonna get in the way, right? Preventing you from achieving your goal. Right. Okay. Và chúng ta nhớ chúng ta xoa âm số 2 Obstacle Đấy. Em một lần nữa là đấy Trong lớp này tôi cũng hy vọng là có thể sửa phát âm cho bạn toàn bộ từ đến cuối Tôi chỉ muốn luyện cho bạn cái thói quen là cái gì cũng phải làm sao Self correction hết đấy. Nó trở thành một thói quen đi Đừng để nói tiếng Anh sai cả đời Nghe Obstacle Nghe là nếu à, Xin lỗi Obstacle Đấy. There is no K Để hiểu sao tôi viết lại ra chữ K Nghe Obst... Obstacle Đấy Ok Đấy, Nếu các bạn mong ước sau này có một cái International career Đúng không? Hãy cố gắng What to expect I have no idea what obstacles and challenges Lie in front of me Đấy, And challenges lie in front of me Does that mean what option Will you talk about that obstacle? Thing number three Number two Right, ok It was really scary Đấy, It's really scary <cười> I'm afraid to be thrown back into that. Right, I'm afraid to be thrown back into that. Right. So when you got thrown back into something, what does it mean? That means you go back to a uh, previous state right, in your life. Ta chúng ta lại quay trở về một cái trạng thái trước đây. It would be thrown back to... Throwback can be used as a noun, noun as well, right? When it's a, a throwback to something. Right? When you say something is throwback to something else, right? The first thing reminds you of the second thing, of the past. Right? Tức là throwback to, tức là gợi cho mình nhớ đến một cái gì đó trong quá khứ. Đúng không? Đấy. Ok. A throwback to. Đấy, bộ phim là chúng ta nhớ lại những uh, năm 30 chẳng hạn. The movie is throw back to the 30s, right? For example, even though we have no idea how the 30s looks like. You know. I'm afraid to be thrown back into that whole scenario of life. Right, a whole scenario of life. Does that mean number three? three. Right. So correct answer is going to be number one. Right? What is not mentioned by the contestant? Okay, so that's number one. Good luck to all of you. This is a whole new me. Uh, it's a whole new me. Tara, you started. I uh, look at Tara. It's be- in the beginning. Weight is two hundred ninety-four pounds. You lost the total. I uh, look at her now. Right. Okay. Of ninety-four pounds. So she lost almost a hundred pounds so far. I hope that everyone understands this is the new Tara. Now. Uh, it's new Tara. Remember, she used to be a model, right? Can model sing day? Does it make any sense? Not make any sense. Can you say, 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 can you That's Tara's mom. When Tara came out of the car. Hey, when Tara get out of the car. I couldn't believe she lost so much weight. I, I couldn't believe she lost so much weight. Bài này thực ra là một dạng nói khó nghe đấy. Nói cứ bị cắt cắt nhưng mà người hiểu. 
It's very keep out of the car. I couldn't believe she lost so much weight. It was like a different person coming out of the car. All right, this is like a different person coming out of the car. All right, a lot of people got excited not because Sarah's back, just because they are on TV. You can tell. This is the old Tara. Right, this is the old Tara. Who was in pictures and magazines. Right, who was in picture magazines, right? Okay. So she looked like a model again. That's what she meant. And look at her. <laughs> Unbelievable. It really okay, so... Correct answer to question number four is what? Is it going to be number... Three. Number three. Right, okay. Bà chỉ nói là trông lại trở lại ta, ta ra ngày xưa thôi chứ bà có định nói là gì đấy Đã đủ xinh đẹp để mà lên bìa đâu <cười> Nhưng mà tất cả những này đều cho thấy là bà ấy làm sao rất ngạc nhiên It's like a different person right. So correct answer is going to be number 3 yeah. I mean, I looked at my sister today and I couldn't stop crying right. I looked at my sister and I couldn't stop crying right. And again, in American culture, it's okay for a man to cry in public right. Not so in Vietnamese culture, I guess. <laughs> so you're sort of a cry baby, right? You can migrate to United States and do your thing there. Okay, right. So Greg, so you're going to be number three. I mean, I looked at my sister today and I couldn't stop crying. <laughs> Ron, your starting weight is 430 pounds. You lost a total of 93 pounds. It's just incredible. I've seen Ron at different weights throughout the years. I, I've seen Ron in different weights throughout the year. And I think that he looks fantastic. And I think he looks fantastic. Hey, that's Mike, a uh, younger brother, who is still very big. Right? He looked like a different person. And now the father and, uh, and brother's gone, right? He had to eat the whole thing. <laughs> He looked like a different person. Uh, he looked like a different person. Wait till you see your son. What's that? Uh, what he meant is that uh, if you are so surprised my, by my look, wait until you see our son. Right. So correct answer to question number five is going to be? Two. Two. Uh, no, number one. Right. He bribed them, prepared them for my whole new look. Okay. Number one. Person. Wait till you see your son. Wait, wait until you see your son. You can't believe that that's th this guy is only 16, right? Yeah. Much younger than all of us. Mike, your starting weight is 388 pounds. You've lost a total of 110 pounds. Uh, he already lost more than 100 pounds so far. 110 pounds. <laughs> Half of his brother so far. Well, I walk through the door. So we done with the homework. Now the next question: Why does Max, my younger brother, start crying when he first sees his brother? Right. When my dad and I walk through the door. Right. When my dad and I walking through the door. Đấy những người bạn xứ nói mà khó nghe là những người bạn xứ nói nút đuôi. Đấy bạn nghe gần như không nghe thấy âm đi của cái chữ gì đấy. Dad thậm chí my dad nghe nghe được không? Well, my dad and I walk. Okay. Right. Can you? My dad and I. No. Right. Okay. Right. Nói rất là nuốt. Through the door. You know, my brother Max started crying. Right. My brother Max starts crying. The person I most hope to inspire while being at home. Right. Now pay attention to what he says, not what you just see on screen. The person I most hope to inspire while being at home. Right. The person I most hope to inspire while being at home. Right. Nói chậm lại nó dài như thế nhưng mà The person I most hope to inspire while being at home is definitely definitely my brother. Definitely my brother. Brother. Inspire while being at home is definitely definitely my brother. 
it all hit me when my brother walked through the door. He just looked amazing. <laughs> to realize that my mom and dad looked great, my brother was thin, my mom skinny, and I'm the only person that was actually like big. I felt left up. Right, so question number six. Why? Why he's crying? Two? Everyone else? Four? <laughs> really? <laughs> Seriously? Okay, let's see uh, what he had to say. My brother walked through the door. It all... It all hit me when my... What's that? It all what? It all hit me when... It all hit me when... It all hit me. Nah, nah. Đấy, một lần nữa là cái âm thi nó không rõ là bạn rất là khó nghe được cái âm đó, đúng không? Đấy, chúng ta phải dựa ý điểm mà đoán thôi. <cười> so when something hit you, what does it mean? Uh, it hit. It means the same as when something clicks. Right. Right. When something hit, it hits me, that means it clicks, right? You suddenly realize something. Understand something. Đó, đấy. Thế là chúng ta chợt hiểu ra, chợt ngộ ra một điều. Đấy. Và khi thấy anh ấy gầy như thế, mình mới chợt hiểu ra là sao? Mình béo như vậy. <cười> It all hit me when my brother walked through the door. He just looked amazing. Right, he just looked amazing. <cười> to realize that my, right, to realize that my, my dad looked great. My, right, mom and dad looked great. Brother was thin. I, my mother was thin, thin by his standards. Okay. Với nó là bây giờ anh rất gầy rồi đấy, đúng không? Sao anh gầy thế? My mom's skinny. My mom's skinny. And I'm the only person that was actually like big. I, I was the only person that actually like big in the family. I felt left out. I felt what? Like big. I felt left out. Like big, I felt left out. Like big, I felt left out. I, I felt what? I felt left out. Right. So, what does it mean when you feel left out? Hey, từ này nó khó bởi khó nghe bởi vì là chữ này người ta luyến sang gì đấy? Này, đấy. Thế là nghe nhà left out, đúng không? Đấy. When you feel, feel left out, that means you feel like you don't belong to a social group, right? Uh, you are excluded from that group. Đấy. Chúng ta cảm thấy bị làm sao? À, bị uh, cô lập, à, cô độc, lạc lõng, nghe, nghe, feel left out. And a related structure would mean a different things left out in the code. Be left out in the code. Right. When you are left out in the code, that means everybody do not care about you. Right? You feel like you are ignored by other people. Okay. Chúng ta cảm thấy là không được kẻ quan tâm đến, không được đứng ra, bị tảng lờ, phớt lờ. Be left out in the code. Right. Cảm giác nó tủi thân đấy. Nghe. Okay. Còn left out thì là gì đấy? Lạc lõng. So, he felt left out. The correct answer is gonna be number two, right? Before, there are three fat people in their family. Right? Now, there is only one. Yeah. So, he felt left out. Like, big, I felt left out. Max's reaction made me feel sad, I mean. Right, so Max's reaction makes me feel sad. Max's reaction made me feel sad. I mean, there was comfort for him. Right, because there was comfort for him, right? And knowing that he wasn't the only big guy in the house. Right, to know that he wasn't the only big guy in the house. Right, before that we have like three boys in, in the family. Right? And now, right? It's always his size. Michael was almost his size. He knows it can happen. He knows that it has to happen. He'll get it done. He'll get it done. He'll, he'll get it done, right? So he's gonna change, so that he's gonna look good at the other two as well. 
Those are big cookies. Alright, so we talk about temptation. They have a very big cookies there. I have a sneaky suspicion something's going on. I have what? I have a sneaky suspicion. I have a sneaky suspicion. I have a sneaky suspicion. Alright. Alright. When you say that you have a sneaky suspicion, that you have a feeling, right? Something at the back of your mind that something's gonna happen. Right. That tôi có một cái sự nghi ngờ, linh cảm, mơ hồ, đó, là chuyện gì đó. Nghe. Cái show này không bao giờ tốt đẹp cả, đúng không? Nó, nó gửi cho mình cái gì là bao giờ mình trick ở đấy. Sneaky. Sneaky tôi viết sai nha. Sneaky viết như này. Sneaky. Ok. Động từ của nó là sneak, đúng không? Khi chúng ta sneak something, that means you do something secretly, uh, surreptitiously. Đúng không? Chúng ta làm cái gì đó len lút, là sneak. Okay. Sneaky là một cái từ chỉ sự len lút, đúng không? Sự nghi ngờ len lút. Đúng không? Linh cảm mơ hồ. Okay, so listen for the next question according to Sammy. The main purpose of the marathon challenge is what? Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying being at home surrounded by your friends and family. Uh, don't be having too much fun, because remember, you do not want to lose focus. When you come back to campus, you do have a weigh-in coming up. And if you lose that, you could be going home for good. So, to help remind you of what's at stake, it's time for this week's challenge. So? Correct answer to question number seven is what? Three, one. Three or one? Okay, one more time. One of this focus. Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying being at home surrounded by your friends and family. Uh, don't be having too much fun, because remember, you do not want to lose focus. When you come back to campus, you do have a weigh-in coming up. And if you lose that, you could be going home for good. So, to help remind you of what's at stake, it's time for this week's challenge. Okay. Thinking about the idiom we all learned before. Okay, one more time. Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying being at home surrounded by your friends and family. Alright, so I hope you be enjoy being at home surrounded by your friends and family. Right, don't be having too much fun. Right, but don't be having too much fun. Right, remember a lot of temptations out there. Because remember, you do not want to lose focus. Right, you do, do not want to lose focus. When you come back to campus. Right, when you come back to campus. You do have a weigh-in coming up. You have a weigh-in coming up. And if you lose that. If you, and if you lose that. You could be going home for good. Right, you could be going home for good. So, to help remind you of what's at stake. Right, that's the key word. To help remind you of what? So, to help remind you of what's at stake. Right. Of what at stake. Right. Okay. Remember this one? Every time you talk about the stake, you're talking about the risk. Right. So, correct answer is going to be? Number three. Right. So, to help remind you of what's at stake. It's time for this week's challenge. Time for this week's challenge. Oh, it's a challenge? Like, challenge? Challenge? Like, I thought coming home was a challenge. Right? Coming home itself is already a challenge, right? And now they have a challenge on top of that challenge as well. Challenge? Like, I thought coming home was a challenge. Like, coming home is challenging. There's food all over the place and family distractions. Like, isn't that my challenge? Alright, so food all over the place. Remember that structure. Alright, family distraction. Why do we have to have a challenge on top of a challenge? You'll be doing something that would have been unthinkable before you joined The Biggest Loser 10 weeks ago. Question number 8. What did she say? Before you, you'll be doing something that would have been unthinkable before you joined The Biggest Loser 10 weeks ago. So the correct answer is going to be 1, 2, Challenge. You'll be doing something that would have been unthinkable. Right. That would have been unthinkable. Right. 
right. Unthinkable means, in this case, means impossible. Right. So correct answer is going to be number one. Right. It passed out of the question also means the same thing. Right. Then you out of the question, you can't ask it. Out of the question means like impossible. Right. So they're going to do something that would have been unthinkable. Right. You'll be doing something that would have been unthinkable before you joined The Biggest Loser 10 weeks ago. Okay, for you, what are you doing on The Biggest Loser 10 weeks ago? Okay. Right. Remember, 10 weeks ago, they just run across a bridge, right? Across some sand. And now they're running half a marathon. You are going to run a half marathon. Right. You're going to run half a marathon. That is 13.1 miles. 13.1 miles. Half of a marathon. Half of a marathon. 13 miles? Oh, 13 miles. Well, I, I can drive 13 miles. A half marathon is what you do when you finish The Biggest Loser, not while you're on The Biggest Loser. Good. Doesn't you understand that? All right. So, question number nine. Correct answer is what? One. One. Really? Half of a half of a marathon. Half of a marathon. Thirteen miles. Oh, thirteen miles. Well, I, I can drive thirteen miles. A half marathon is what you do when you finish the Biggest Loser, not while you're on the Biggest Loser. Doesn't you understand that? What is not the contestant thought? It's going to be number four, right? Okay. Again, one more time. Half of... Half of a marathon. Half of a marathon. Why she keeps saying half marathon, half marathon? What does she mean? Number two, right? It seems very difficult. 13 miles? Oh, 13 miles. Well, I, I can drive. <laughs> I can drive, right? 13 miles instead of walking or running 13 miles, right? So that means number three, right? Miles. A half marathon is what you do when you finish The Biggest Loser. Right, so half a marathon is what you do when you finish The Biggest Loser. Not while you're on The Biggest Loser. Right, not while you're on The Biggest Loser. Does that mean number one, right? They may be able to do that after the show, not now, okay? Doesn't she understand that? Right. Don't she understand? That? Okay, right. I don't dare <laughs> So, that be correct answer is going to be number four, even though we have the worst understand. Do when you finish the biggest loser, not while you're on the biggest loser. Doesn't she understand that? There's something else, too. This week you will be facing the temptation. Now she's talking about the temptation. You will find a tin with 13 cookies in it. Right, so, they have a tin, right? With 13 cookies in there. For every cookie you eat, you right, of every cookie you eat, you can add five minutes. Right, you can add five minutes. To the player of your choices, time. Right, the player of your choices, time. The player that has the fastest time wins. Right, the player with the fastest time wins. Right. The player that has the that fastest time wins. Oh my gosh. Great. <laughs> Want to know what you're playing for? What's that? Question number 10. What does she most likely say next? Three. Great. <laughs> Want to know what you're playing for? Want to know what you are playing for? Uh, when you say, what am I playing for, what does it mean? Price. You are talking, uh, you are asking about the price, right? What am I playing for? Right. So, correct answer is going to be number one. Uh, remember, they have a very big price for this one, 10,000 US dollars. Right. Great. <laughs> Want to know what you're playing for? Sure. Oh my 
Oh my god! Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars? Ten thousand dollars, I'm thinking I'll pick Aubrey up and I'll pack her on my shoulders for 13 miles for ten thousand dollars. She's gotta do it. Question 11. Why, what does Aubrey husband imply about the challenge cash price? One more time. Dollars. Ten thousand dollars. I'm thinking I'll pick Aubrey up and I'll pack her on my shoulders for thirteen miles for ten thousand dollars. She's gotta do it. So, three, one, two. So no four. Thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. I'm thinking I'll pick Aubrey up. Right, I think I'm gonna pick Aubrey up. All right. Okay. So, he's going to pick his wife up, and then... And I'll pack her on my shoulder. Because I'm thinking I'll pick Aubrey up, and I'll pack her on my shoulder. I pack her on my shoulder. <coughs> right, when you pack something or someone on your shoulder, that means you carry them on your shoulder. Right? Tức là gì đấy? Vác lên vai okay. right. Ông ấy sẽ nhắc vợ lên rồi vác lên vai for 13 miles. And run for 13 miles right. Vậy ông sẵn sàng là không chỉ đơn giản là chạy một mình Ông không chạy được đâu Vác theo một cái khối như thế nữa Trong vòng <cười> Được cái dặm chỉ để lấy được cái gì đấy 10 nghìn So correct answer is gonna be number 3 right. He finds the prize really attractive Attractive right. okay. right. Enticing and I'll pack her on my shoulders for 13 miles for $10,000. Just gotta do it. Just gotta do it. It's $10,000, man. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's laughing like that $10,000 already in their pockets, right? Yeah. Still a long way to go, guys. Good luck to all of you. I will see you back on campus. And we'll see you on back, back on campus. And I will tell you who the winner of this challenge is. And we'll tell you at that time, right, who's the winner. Once I found out that each sugar cookie is worth five minutes to any other player's time. Right, when I found out that each sugar cookie at five minutes to any player's time. I, I thought to myself, I'm screwed. I, I thought to myself, I'm screwed. Again, remember, she's the fattest one, right, in, in the, on the campus, so... If they're gonna eat cookie against somebody, they're gonna eat cookie against her. You understand? Everyone knows right now on campus that I can that I can run. Uh, everybody know on the campus right now that I can I can run. You know that I'm running. Um, we, can't, we can't help you eat that, right? <laughs> that friend says. Running. Um, um, we, can't, we can't help you eat them, right? <laughs> you can help you eat them, right? <laughs> no, I, quite frankly, if anyone else is smart, uh, if anyone else smart, they're gonna eat all thirteen sugar cookies. Right? They can, they can eat all thirteen sugar cookie and add time to her time. Right? Then add a hundred and five minutes to my time. <laughs> Actually, her her math was wrong. Right? Một cookie chỉ là năm phút, vậy mười ba cookie chỉ là gì đấy? Sáu năm phút bảy. Sáu năm phút, đúng không? Đấy, thế mà dám tính nữa là thì 105 được <cười> But anyway, right, chỉ cần mỗi một mỗi người trong số kia ít một cái cookie against her rồi là tiêu tiêu rồi <cười> How many cookie do you think people ate against her in, in the end? Can you venture against? And okay, we are going to talk about that later 13 sugar cookies and add 105 minutes to my time There's one or two people I can witness Terrorists, you know Right, so they named their biggest threat, That's Tara and Sione. Who is the biggest threat? Right, who is the biggest threat? Tara, the uh, one. So why not? Tara and then Sione. For every cookie I eat, I can add five minutes on to, I'm going to need that. There's no way I can win. All right, there's no way I can win without eating cookies. <laughs> this challenge without adding time on, Helen, Sione, Tara. So she named three, Helen, Sione, Tara, right? And indeed, there are three that finish at the top three. <laughs> so she can see that which ones you're going to eat against whom. I know exactly who the strong runners are. Right? I know exactly who the strongest runner are. I know exactly who the strong runners are. And there's 13 cookies in this container. That's a lot of cookies. Mm, Tara. <laughs> Tara. <laughs> Tara. Uh, 
Uh, it doesn't look good for Tara so far. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of time for a lot of money. And I know that these cookies could potentially give me $10,000 if I play my cards right. Right, okay. Question number 12. What, a, what does Kristen think about the cookie temptation? Right, one more time. <laughs> That's a lot of time for a lot of money. And I know that these cookies could potentially give me $10,000 if I play my cards right. Easy number three. Two. Okay, what exactly she says? And I know it's a lot of time for a lot of money. And I know that these cookies... Right, these cookies... Could potentially... Right. Lần nữa, cái cách cô ấy đọc cái từ potentially như nào, đúng không? Chúng ta xoa âm đầu tiên, potentially. Sẽ từng đọc là potentially, đúng không? Potentially. These could potentially give me $10,000. Right, give me $10,000. That's like my card right. Right. Đây là cái ý điểm mà người ta nói rất nhanh, nhưng mà chúng ta thể đoán được ngay, đúng không? Right. Give me $10,000 if I play my card right. Right, if I play my cards right. Okay. So, what does it mean when you play your cards right? <laughs> And of course, you can say that you play your cards wrong. Right. Yeah, using the right or wrong strategy. Okay. 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 Everybody run in their hometown, right? In a different venues, anyway. Running! Right, some running outside, some running indoors. Right. As I'm running this marathon, I just kept thinking of Tara across the country. Right. So as I'm running this marathon, I just keep thinking about Tara across the country. Uh, as I, uh, she's in uh, Los Angeles, I guess, and Tara's in New York. Okay. So they're two best friends, but across the country. Doing the same thing that I'm doing at the same time. Uh, doing the same thing that I'm doing at the same time. And I'm hoping she does well. And I'm hoping she does. Well, but for me, it's not even about just winning the money. Right. For me, it's not even about just winning the money. For me, it's not even about just winning the money. It's more about being able to say, I ran 13 miles. Right. It's more about what? It's not even about just winning the money. It's more about being able to say, Right. It's more about being able to say, I ran 13 miles. I ran 13 miles. So, correct answer to question number 13 is what? Right, it's going to be number two. Right. Yeah. As I'm running, I'm thinking about finishing as best I possibly can, but I know that I have to take any strategy into account and watch my endurance level because it's a long race. But at the same time, it's frustrating because I don't know how many cookies people ate against me. Right. So question number 14 was not mentioned by Tara regarding the competition. Okay, one more time. As I'm running, I'm thinking about finishing as fast as I possibly can, but I know that I have to take any strategy into account and watch my endurance level because it's a long race. But at the same time, it's frustrating because I don't know how many cookies people ate against me. Go right again, so it's going to be? Okay, number four. Ah, one more time. As I'm running, I'm thinking about... Right. As I'm running, I'm thinking what? As I'm running, I'm thinking about finishing as fast as I possibly can. Right. Finishing as the fastest as possibly as I can. Right. But I know that I have to... Right. But I know. So, when she tries to finish as fastest as she can, that means which one? Three. 
number three, right? Taking strategy into account. But she had to. And but I know that I have the taking strategy into account. Right, taking strategy into account. Right. When you take something into account, what does it mean? Consider something. Right. Nhớ ấy, đừng đọc là consider và đừng đọc là consider đúng không? Nó sẽ là gì đây? Consider đúng không? Xoa âm đầu tiên. Đúng không? Take into account. Xin lỗi. Okay. Take into account. Em nhớ cách cô ta đọc cái từ này đúng không? Nghĩa là xoa the second one vậy là strategy đúng không? Đấy. Đấy. Thế gọi là strategy nghe strategy. And but I know that I have to take in strategy into account. Đấy. So when have to take strategy into account? What does that mean? Which one? Number number one. Right. Okay. And watch my endurance look. And what? I take in strategy into account and watch my endurance look. Watch what? Taking strategy into account and watch my endurance look. Watch my endurance. Right. You know this one, right? Endurance. Right. When you have to endure something, how long you can last? Right. Tức là cái sức chịu đựng. Endurance. Ê, cô đọc cái từ này nghe nó hơi nhanh, hơi nuốt nữa. Endurance. Yeah. Taking strategy into account and watch my endurance like it's a long race. Because it's a long race. But at the same time. But at the same. Does that mean uh, which one? It's frustrating because I don't know how many. It's frustrating because I don't know. Cookies people ate against me. How many cookie people ate against me? That mean number two, right? Actually, it's a very unfair thing, right? Because she may try her best, but at the same time. Just somebody else uh, eat some cookie against her. Oh, her efforts gonna be go to waste, right? So kind of unfair, this one. But no choice, a game, right? So correct answer is gonna be number four. As everyone had expected, Tara and Sionis on way lead the group. Okay, take the lead. Are we done yet? I'm four laps into this. I have a hundred more laps to go. Right? What's that? I'm four laps into this. I right. Uh, four laps into this. You know what does it mean, laps? Right, okay. Each lap means each lap, right? Okay, một vòng. Okay. Là cô mới chạy được có bốn vòng rồi đấy. Are we done yet? I'm four laps into this. I have a hundred more laps to go. I'm a hundred more. Là mới chạy được bốn vòng, nó nghĩ là còn phải một trăm vòng nữa. Đã thấy thấy nó tinh thần rồi. Bắt đầu có chuyện rồi. I'm four laps into this. I have a hundred more laps to go, and it feels like this is never gonna end. Right, and it feels like it's never gonna end. And I just hope that I have it in me. And what question number fifteen? I just hope that what? Never gonna end. And I just hope that I have it in me. It's never gonna end. And I just hope that I have it in me. Alright. I just hope that I had it in me. Right. So when you have it in you to do something, right? When you say that you have it in you to do something, right? You have some kind of hidden ability to do something, some kind of ability that people usually do not see that. Okay. Đấy, là chúng ta có một khả năng tiềm ẩn làm một điều gì đấy chúng ta gọi là have it in okay. you should do something đấy. khả năng mà thường người khác không nhìn ra cho đến khi chúng ta trổ ra đấy. ví dụ tôi có thể một nữ sinh rất hiền lành trong lớp một ngày tôi thấy bạn ấy cầm dao đuổi một anh trên phố chẳng hạn I can't believe you have that in you right. to do that kind of thing okay. have it in you okay. and we have a real structure for this one bring it out in somebody Or bring out, okay, not just add. Right. When you bring something out in somebody, you you make them show that kind of hidden ability. Right. 
thì họ có cái khả năng tiềm ẩn đấy và mình làm cho họ bộc lộ được khả năng đó thì chính là bring it out in somebody đúng không? ví dụ bề ngoài anh ta có thể là người nhút nhát nhưng mà thực ra là bản lĩnh khá tốt đúng không? thế thì you can bring out the confidence in that person đúng không? làm cho người đó thể hiện được cái sự cái sự tự tin mà bình thường người ta không thấy đúng không? cái tưởng là anh này nhát lắm như này Ê, các đôi yêu nhau thì hay nói là gì đấy you bring out the best in me đúng không? Đấy. Tức là em có cái gì tốt đẹp thì anh làm cho lòi ra hết đúng không? đấy là gì đấy you bring out the best in me Còn chia tay thì nói là gì đấy you bring out the worst in me đúng không? Đấy. So I just, I just hope that I had it in me. Correct answer is gonna be number one, right? She she isn't sure yet, but she hopes that she has the kind of ability to finish the whole thing. Okay. Never gonna ask. And I just hope that I have it in me. And again, one thing about the American culture is that they always have each other's back, support each other like this, right? So every time they went through some kind of challenge, everyone else, right, is gonna go and support them, running with them, cheering them up, all kind of thing like that. Right, Felipe's wife actually run the whole things with him, along with him. First week. I can't even walk at a 2.0. Right. First week, I can't even walk 2.0. Tháng tuần đầu tiên tôi còn chả đi được, đi bộ được hay, hay dặm. Bây giờ đã chạy 13 rồi. First week, I can't even walk at a 2.0. This is too fast for me. Now I don't use my asthma anymore as an excuse. Right. Now I what? Now I don't use my asthma anymore as an excuse. I don't use my. Now I don't use my asthma anymore as an excuse. I don't use my asthma anymore as an excuse. Asthma. Asthma like a big hand suit, eh? I don't use my asthma anymore as an excuse, right? So when you use something as an excuse, what does it mean? That means you give a wrong or false reasons for something. Chúng ta viện cớ đấy. Đúng rồi, chúng ta nói là gì đấy? Viện cớ. You can also make up an excuse, right? Viện ra một cớ gì đó. Make up an excuse. Excuse. Uh, you give a full reason for doing something. Chúng ta đưa ra một lý do, một lý do không đúng lắm, đúng không? Cho việc làm cái gì đó. Make up an excuse. Uh, so that means every time he need to do something, you have to do something. He gonna say, oh, I my asthma is got uh, getting worse, right? So I can't do it. And now he don't use his asthma anymore an excuse. Asthma là cái bệnh hen suyễn, trouble with your breathing, đúng không? Cái chuyện What? Thôi có chữ S ở giữa đúng không nhỉ? Các bạn sẽ check lại của tôi nhỉ? S mà. Now I don't use my asthma anymore as an excuse. I don't use my asthma anymore as an excuse. I, I believe myself more. I, I believe in myself more. I'm more confident I can do anything now. I, I'm more confident I can do anything now. Hey, look at the little dog. <laughs> Even the girl which is so for us. Alright, two hours and fourteen minutes so far. So 
now she have only one mouse left. Right. Should <laughs> <laughs> That's her dad. <laughs> I have one mana left. Thank God. I have one mouse left. Thank God. But this time I'm exhausted. Right. I'm ex exhausted. Right. You really have to reach down and dig deep. What's that? What comes before that? You really have to reach down and dig deep. You really have to reach down and dig deep. Uh, you really have to reach down and dig deep. Right. Uh, when you reach down and dig deep, what does it mean? You try to re to use all remaining strength right, to do something. Hey, giống tiếng Việt mình nói là dồn hết sức tàn đấy để làm một cái điều đó. Reach down and dig deep, hey, dồn hết sức lực còn lại để làm một cái điều gì đó. Hey, you have to use all the remaining strength right, to achieve something. Reach down, and dig deep. Ta nhớ đây là một cấu trúc liền mạch nhé. Hey, chứ ta không thể nói là uh, you reach down, I dig deep. Nghe, nghe, nghe. You have to reach down and dig deep. You really have to reach down and dig deep. You're tired. Because you are tired. Go And she is actually ahead of Terra, right? By 0.3 miles. One more leg! One more, one more, one more My body was killing me. Uh, everything was aching. Right? My body is killing me. Everything's aching, right? What does it mean, aching? No. Right. Một lần nữa chúng ta đọc là aching nhé. Okay. It's aching. No. Right. The verb of ache. Yeah. Aching. My body was killing me. Uh, everything was aching. I just kept telling myself over and over. Genesis. I knew I was in the home stretch. Sixteen. Genesis. I knew I was in the home stretch. I went away. I knew. I knew I was in the home stretch. I was in the home stretch. Right. Right. And you can say in home stretch, or you can also say in home stretch. It means the same thing. Right. So when we are in home straight or home stretch, that means you're in the final stage of a competition. Ta chúng ta gọi là về gì đấy? Về đích đấy, đúng không? Đấy. Và nước rút rồi đấy. In the home stretch or home straight. You can use this one outside sport as well. Chúng ta có thể dùng cấu trúc này ở ngoài lĩnh vực thể thao, đúng không? Dự án đã vào giai đoạn cuối cùng, ta có thể nói là gì? The project enter the home stretch. Okay. So correct answer to question number 16 is going to be 2. two. All right. Genesis. I knew I was in the home stretch. I went away. And then he's starting having some problems. We're doing the last half mile and right. we're doing the last half miles. About 200 yards away from the finish line. Right, so when does Sione start having problem with his leg? And about 200 yards away from the finish line? Correct answer is going to be? Now we need some cultural knowledge here. How long in the yard? Okay. Yên tâm đi thi người ta không đánh đố bạn thế này đâu, đúng Yards equal to 0.9 meter. Right. So 200 yards is going to be, correct answer is going to be number, number two. Right. To answer this kind of question, you need to be good at math. That's it. Yeah. And about 200 yards away from the finish line. Right. Two yards away from the finish line. My quad started to tighten up. Right. My quad start to tighten up. Đó là bị chuột rút đấy, nó co rút lại. Right. You want to lie down? Real quick, right? Remember, real quick is actually a spoken language for briefly, shortly, you know? Right. Tức là một tí thôi nhé. Yeah. Real quick. Yeah. Đấy, chúng ta không dùng nó cho văn viết các bạn nhé. Real quick. Thực ra văn viết là sai chính tả, à sai nước pháp, đúng không? Real quick. 
I couldn't even take another step. I've never felt that type of pain. Just right, okay. I couldn't take another step. I couldn't even take another step. I've never felt that type of pain. Right, never felt that type of pain. Just running before. Just running before. And then, right, Tara takes the chance to gain ground. Ten thousand dollars on the line right here. You know, ten thousand dollars is a lot of money. All right? He's like they in pain. All he can think about is that ten thousand dollars. Right? And last question for today, eighteen. Ten thousand dollars on the line right here. You know. Ten thousand dollars on the line right here. Okay. Ten thousand dollars on the line right here. Ten thousand dollars on the line right here. Right. What does it mean to say something is on the line? It means the same as aesthetic, right? Or at risk. Right. So correct answer to question number eighteen is gonna be three. three. Right. The stakes very high right. on the line. <laughs> Ten thousand dollars on the line right here. You know, ten thousand dollars is a lot of money. Right, ten thousand dollars is a lot of money. I don't care who you are, uh, how much money you make a year. Ten thousand dollars is ten thousand dollars. You không là gì đấy? Dù bạn là ai, mình nhìn vẫn là gì đấy? To, đúng không? Ồ, nằm đấy mà không, nên nó đỡ đau. Chỉ nghĩ, thực ra còn đau hơn đấy, đúng không? Chỉ nghĩ đến chuyện là mình chuẩn bị mất cái số tiền gì đấy. Còn chuyện cái chuyện người ta ăn cu cu kỳ còn chưa tính. Uh, how much money you make a year? Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. So people help him up. Once I got back my feet. What's that? Once I got back my feet. I I got back on my feet. Okay. What does it mean to get by on your feet? That means you're standing up from lying down. They don't get any, no? When you're standing up from lying down. And figuratively, when you get back on your feet, that means you overcome a big problem, right? And you recover from that. Right? Tức là khi ta gượng dậy trong một cái thất bại, người ta cũng dùng cái từ gì đấy? Get by on your feet. Okay. Ví dụ sau khi mình đi chạy về thì mọi người sẽ khuyên là gì? Try to get by. On your feet. Yeah, that. Yeah. Once I got back on my feet, we kept going. So remaining three questions gonna be your homework. Okay. And all I did was push it here more. This is it. One more lap, and you're done. One more lap, you're done. So who do you think gonna win? Sione or Tara? Okay, they are at the last, uh, final, and home stretch already. She hit the finish line first. Two hour Also very close, right? A minute later. Okay. If he didn't have that kind of cram, maybe he's gonna be the winner, right? <laughs> and Helen finished third. <laughs> Half an hour later. I surprised myself. I think I surprised my sister. I know I surprised my husband. So we know that she surprised a lot of people. <laughs>
I surprised myself. I think I surprised my sister. I know I surprised my husband. Đấy, đấy khi nói ta sự bị trích này thì ta bí quá, đúng không? I can't speak English, I can't speak Vietnamese, I can't speak French, I can't speak Russian. You can keep talking, okay? Until you, you think of something else. Right? <cười> I surprised my sister. I know I surprised my husband. And when I busted through the finish line, when I what? Surprised my husband. And when I busted through the finish line, right. when I busted through the finish line. Alright, when you bust through the finish line, that means when you hit the finish line, right? The other verb you can use for this one is to cross the finish line. Right, cross the finish line. When I bust through the finish line. My husband, and when I busted through the finish line, it was the best feeling of accomplishment. Right. Is it the best feeling? Chúng ta nhớ nhá, quán uh, quán từ the nếu chúng ta nhấn mạnh nó sẽ trở thành gì đấy? The không nhất thiết nó phải đi trước nguyên âm, ta phải đọc là the đúng không? Thế quán từ a à ơ uh, thì trước uh, khi ta nhấn mạnh đọc là gì đấy? A. Đấy. I have a person here only a. Okay. It was the best feeling of accomplishment I have ever felt. I ever felt. Again, his wife run the whole things with him. So proud of Philippe because hey, I'm so proud of Philippe. So proud of Philippe because just a few months before he would have stopped. Right, just a few months before he could stop. Yeah. We like forget this, you know. But you know, you know, he can do anything. What's the, what is the tongue? <laughs> You know, but now you know he can do anything if he just put his mind to it. Right, he know he can do anything if. Now you know he can do anything if he just put his mind to it. Right, he just put his mind into it. Right. So when you put your mind to something, what does it mean? Okay. When you put your mind on to uh, into something, you focus on. Finishing that kind of thing. Yeah. Là chúng ta tập trung vào uh, hoàn thành trong cái gì đó. I put my mind to this one. You stay focused on that. Yeah. Là tập trung vào. Okay, so homework gonna be the next three question. Solution for... Đấy, chúng ta đã run out of time rồi cho nên là... Thôi, phải bỏ qua đoạn chấm điểm thôi. 2, 3, 1, 3, 1. Đấy, I'm gonna show you idiom summary solution right now. Okay, um, you, you sort of need to rewrite the rule each time you develop one of these sites. Next. Dr. Langford left an indelible mark here at Dartmouth, and we are so pleased to have him here to share in this exciting time in the program's history. Next. And he's so forceful. I mean, look at him. He practically oozes leadership. Next. Oh, no, if I had a place to sleep here, my apartment would be free. You had me at free. Uh, you had me at free. Every time you heard that one. Free. Got Next. Attention. Wow, what a graphics on that game. Did you see the way the light hits the zombies' brains when they explode? It's pure poetry. That is pure poetry. <laughs> Next. Did you know that today is our 4,643rd day as a couple? We've never been apart. Every time we think about the day we met, I just get goosebumps all over again. Yeah, goosebumps. And <laughs> Next. Are you in love with Mademoiselle Patricia? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Don't be shy. If I were your eyes, monsieur, without doubt, I... Without doubt. They too would be in love with her. Next. He is getting a lot of work done. Wow. Well, if 
he cracks that, it's a game changer, guys. It'll completely redefine our understanding of the redefine. physical universe. Next. That experience made an indelible impression on President Eisenhower, and he realized the value of significant improvements in transportation. Next. What gets you too excited? The most excited? <laughs> <laughs> that would have to be without question. Game night. Oh! Ne okay. Next. Joe, it's... So, yeah, I've been working with a uh, professional jeweler for the last couple of months on this thing, so that you would have a ring like no one else's. Oh, Joe, I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> oh, Lennox, I hate it. I hate it so okay. That's a real thing. So much? <laughs> well, you hated Joe at first. <laughs> so really, when you think about it, that ring is a great symbol for your relationship. Come on, Joe poured his heart and soul. That heart and soul. into it. Next. It's been said that New Yorkers are the most jaded people in the world. The fact is, we've pretty much done and seen it all. It takes quite a bit to shock us. Which is why when Charlotte said the news showed her gallery would totally blow us away. We took it with the proverbial grain of salt. Next. <laughs> I'm a student. You're a student. Want to form a student union? <laughs> oh, ah! oh my god, hi there! Don't we have chemistry together? Uh, chemistry. Class and the other kind? <laughs> Want to form a compound? <laughs> Next. This is Jackie Saburito, a beautiful 20-year-old who had everything to look forward to. As an only child growing up in Caracas, Venezuela, Jackie lived the good life, beautiful and smart. This is Jackie today. Jackie was literally burned alive during a... She had a very terrible accident. Horrific accident. Please welcome a woman who defines survival. Right, so she defines survival. Please welcome Jackie Severino. Okay. Uh, expect the unexpected, anything may happen. Food for thought, if you expect the unexpected, does that make the unexpected expected? <laughs> All right. So it's a better dog itself. <laughs> okay, ups and down, and the up and up. Okay, thrown back. Right, oh, hit me. Feel left out, left out in the coat. Right, unthinkable, out of the question. Okay, I missed this one, right? When you say something's unthinkable, right? What does it mean? It's too terrible to talk about. Yeah. Tức là khi cái gì nó ghê tởm quá mình không thể nói, không thể nhắc đến nó được thì nó là unspeakable crime. Right. Playing for, talk about the price, play your cards right, play your cards wrong, have it in you, bring it out in you. Right. Use something and any skills. We learn a lot of structure today. Reach down, dig deep, right. like that. Right. Killing me. Okay. Home stretch, home straight. Okay. Oh, real quick, right? Does that mean briefly? Right? And on the line, at risk, at stake, right? Get back on your feet, figuratively as well. Bust it through the finish line, cross the finish line, put your mind to something or into something. So homework is going to be question 19 to 21, right? Now last laugh, we're going to go back to harmony, Right, we're gonna watch a rapper clip about the case of Dia versus Dia, Yuchu versus Yuchu, Jim versus Jim, and Meryl versus Meryl. Yeah. And here we have a phone. So, husband's birthday, and why gave her, gave him a phone in the shape of a mouth? In the shape of a mouth. Ah, you're welcome. Very sexy. Wait a minute. Don't tell me. Let me work this out. Right. Why she gave her that one? She gave him that one. She, he tried to figure that out. Right? I mentioned a few times I was thinking of taking out the saxophone. You give me this. Right. We wouldn't have the saxophone. I got it. Is this a sexy phone? Happy birthday! <laughs> Uh, Manny's visiting Gloria's family for... Uh, 
About a month, I hope. Because if he doesn't go to Colombia, Colombia comes to me. Colombia is in town. Seven by four. Is that Colombia? The whole thing. Cách đẩy thằng con về cho nó khỏi gia đình ngoại trải khỏi sang. And you remember, as soon as you land, watch out for. Watch out for malaria. Malaria là cái gì các bạn? Malaria. Why? Can we hurry this up? No, we're talking about your cousin Malaria. She's coming to pick you up, but she might have rubella. What? That's her daughter. <laughs> Make a woman in the car because she could have diphtheria. Who's diphtheria? <laughs> diphtheria is a disease. <laughs> That's why I want you to be apart from here in the car. Okay, let's go, Kelly. I just want to tell you that the last few weeks have been really, really amazing. Thanks. I love you too. All right, so she looked at the CD and say, I love you too. What did you just say? I said, I love you too. Wow. She didn't get that. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Good night. I apologize if my being here upset. Right, cô giáo này đến một học sinh. Đúng không? Này, lệch tuổi. Set you. No, no, no. I... I, I just feel you being seen out with a student is, it's just awfully bad principle. Right, so bad principle, tức là cái chuyện mà cô đi chơi học sinh như thế này rất là gì đấy? Về nguyên tắc là rất xấu, no? Oh, he doesn't care, he's dating a cheerleader. Tức là hiểu thế sao này nói này không? Đấy, bởi vì cái từ principle này nó trùng với cái từ gì? Đúng rồi, từ hiệu trưởng đó là principle. Ok. Thế ông này, thằng này tiểu mặt này nói chuyện hiệu trưởng bảo hiệu trưởng chả khe, hiệu trưởng cũng đang đếp gì đấy Thì con bé chia lý được Principal Oh, he doesn't care, he's dating a cheerleader So, dear Đấy, dear tức là cháu yêu quý của bà đấy What? Do you say anything you like? I don't know It's venison Đấy, venison là thịt hiêu, đúng không? Dear Đấy, bạn này đúng ý từ dear kia What? Dear Deer, D-E-E-R. What? W-H-A-T. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Um, Jake, it's, it's the deer in the forest, like, uh, like Bambi. Right? Nếu mà bị nhầm này, chúng ta buộc phải giải thích này, đúng không? They're like a Bambi in the forest, a deer. Oh, cool, let's eat Bambi. <laughs> Would you tell Dr. Council to make that? Let's get this one a little bit. Oh, I'm, I'm missing something. Okay, it's missing something. Oh, fine. Um, okay. So, Rachel dressed Joey for some event. Really? A purse? Maybe, yeah. It's not a purse. It's a shoulder bag. It looks like a woman's purse. No. Joey, look. Trust me. I'm telling all the men are carrying them in the spring catalog. Look. See? Look. Men carrying the bag. See? Look. Women carrying the bag. It is odd how a woman's purse looks so good on me, a man. Exactly, unisex. Uh, unisex is what it is. For both guys and girls, right? Yeah. Maybe you need sex, huh? <laughs> unisex, you know, you need sex, unisex. I had sex a couple days ago. <laughs> oh, no, Joey. You and I sex. Right. <laughs> Ain't gonna say no to that. I could tell you knew something was up with me, and you're right. And Bonnie says that he's falling in love with Robin. 
But I can't tell you what it is. I should tell you, but I can't. I have to. I never will. I'm going to. Let's just drop it. What's up with you? How are you? Just say it. I think I'm in love with Robin. You're in love? That is so sweet. It's not sweet. It's, it's like a disease. I slept with Robin one time and I caught feelings. I caught feelings bad. I used protection and everything. Oh, Barney, you don't catch feelings. You just have them. They're good. They're terrible. I can't eat. I can't sleep. She's all I think about. I close my eyes. I see Robin. I, I hear a song. It reminds me of Robin. Morning. I sleep with that chick. I'm thinking about Robin. You love her. Barney, how can you be in love and still be sleeping with anything that moves? I'm sorry, I don't follow you. Barney, you're going to have to stop screwing around if you want to be Robin's boyfriend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ha ha ha. Boyfriend? I don't want to be Robin's boyfriend. Well, what do you want then? I don't know. I just want to be with her all the time. I want to hear about her day and tell her about mine. I want to hold her hand and smell her hair. I don't want to be her stupid boyfriend. Robin just needs to see this new side of you. So just call her up? Just call her up? She wasn't there. I left a voicemail. You left a voice, but it wasn't mail. Okay, we are done.